Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I am so excited. So I did a video a couple of days ago and it was my top five recommendations for the upcoming Sephora holiday savings event. So that starts in a couple weeks here. And most years I have done like a pretty comprehensive Sephora recommendations videos. But this year I thought I would just do five products, my top five picks, products that I have in my collection, that I have used extensively, that I feel like are worth that extra spend, right? Because there's lots of good products at the drugstore. You don't always have to spend Sephora prices on things. But these products I felt like were standout, so I'll link that video. But I had a lovely comment in that video saying, could you do a fantasy cart? Could you tell us what you would buy if you were not on a low buy? Yes, yes I can. Let's talk about all the things I want. This video is probably gonna be three hours long. Well, I have my coffee. I would suggest you grab a beverage because I, I went through last night. Now I always keep stuff in my Sephora's loves list. I always have stuff sitting in my cart. I always have stuff on that loves list. I always have in my mind things that I want, but I am on a low buy. I'm on a low buy for a whole bunch of reasons. I have been on a low buy this whole year. Some months I have done really well. If you've watched some of my videos, you know, some months I've done well, some months I have not. But I am trying to purchase less things for a bunch of reasons. I, you know, some of you who watch my videos will know I haven't been working for most of this year. I took time off, again, for a bunch of reasons. But anyways, my first grandbaby will be here any day, like within the next couple of days. And so I haven't gone back to work because I wanna be available at least for the first few weeks. So I'm, av I'm available for them. So I'm not working right now. So that's a reason for a low buy. So we are a one income family. Cost of living in, I don't know about everywhere, but in Canada is outrageous right now. It's alarming to me how far our dollar does not stretch anymore. Like when I go to Costco, when I go to the grocery store, for all of those reasons. Also, we're building our dream home right now, and so we're trying to really save for that. So there's a whole bunch of reasons I'm on a low buy. Also, I'm trying to cons consume less. I'm trying to bring fewer products in. I'm trying to just be more mindful. I'm trying to use up what I have, just be less of a consumer. I'm on a low buy, but if I wasn't on a low buy, if I had no budget, if I could just shop, these are the things that I'm interested in. This is like, I have like $5,000 sitting in my cart. So I went through last night and I put all the things in my cart because I wanted to see what it would total that I'm interested in, that I would really like to try. That doesn't mean that if I had unlimited funds or I wasn't on a no buy that I would necessarily purchase these. I would still probably look up reviews. I mean, so there's a product in here that's $2,500 that I'm interested in, but I know there's a cheaper option. It just wasn't available on the Sephora site when I did this. Let's talk about that one first, because there are there's two tools that I'm interested in. The first one, let me just have a sip of coffee before we get going. <laughs> so I would really like to try some sort of LED light mask for my face. I hear Angie on Hot and Flashy talk about how she uses an LED face mask and she has seen amazing results with it. I think she's been using it for a little bit. And then I see Kate the Great Beauty also here on YouTube talk about her LED face mask. Now the one she uses I think is the Dr. Dennis Gross and that's the one I would like. And when I had looked previously, I think that one was about $500. So if I wasn't on a low buy, and I was working, I probably would pick up an L that Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask or some sort of LED mask. But the only one available right now on Sephora is the Shani Darden mask, and it's $2,500. And as shocking as that price is, it says on here there's only a few left. So somebody has, somebody's buying them. I would really like to try a LED mask. And again, this one is $2,500. It is an FDA cleared LED light therapy mask and neck piece that uses the latest technology to reduce the look of acne, acne pig, pigmentation and wrinkles. So not that I would probably purchase this one. I probably wouldn't. Even at $2,500, even if I had an unlimited budget, I wouldn't, you guys. It's so expensive. But here's the thing. That's the only one available. So I put it in my cart 
because I would like to try an LED mask. Probably I would pick up that Dr. Dennis Gross one. It's $500. But if you're gonna pick up some sort of expensive product like that, definitely during the Sephora sale. But I would say this even about it. Black Friday is coming up, Cyber Monday, especially if you're in the US. In Canada, it's not as great. There's just not the same sales. But in the US, it's amazing, right? And so I would say if I was gonna pick up something like this, I would wait the few extra weeks and I would check out the ones I'm interested in. I would check out the brand's websites and see what kind of sales they have. But that's sort of the first big thing that I that I wanted as far as tools go. Now, the other big thing that I have always wanted to try was the Dyson Airwrap. Not so much just the dryer attachment, but the curling attachment. Now, in Canada, it is $750. They do have a holiday edition one. It looks very nice. I want to try this product. I've wanted to try it since it came out because I, I love this kind of bouncy wave in my hair. Now, I did this with a curling wand, which works fine and this doesn't take me very long maybe 10 minutes i put probably 10 curls on each side and it's fine and these curls do last all day but i have always wanted to try the dyson one now on a low buy so no certainly not and even if i had an unlimited budget i don't know it's so expensive it's so expensive but i put it in here because it is a product i've always wanted to try it does get good reviews people do love it i know people that have it that love it i see people online do their hair with it and it looks amazing the curls really last there's lots of bounce i probably would love this product if i had it if it was something i was that interested in now would be the time right and and i think they do normally have them on sale in the Sephora sale. Like I think they do qualify, right? I don't think they're excluded from that. I think the only products that are excluded typically are like the ordinary products, maybe even the inky list products, but most other things are available. So there's those two products that are pretty, pretty hefty price tags, right? So I would like to try the Dyson Airwrap and I would like to try an LED mask. Those are kind of my two big tool purchases that, you know, if I'm talking fantasy, yeah, I would like to try them. Now, there are a few skincare products. Should we do skincare or should we do makeup? Let's let's do skincare because there's only a couple things. Maybe there's only one thing actually for skincare. I do pretty budget friendly skincare day to day. My my skincare, I am going to update my skincare videos, you guys. I'm so sorry. It's on my to-do list. I am going to get to it. <laughs> my skincare routine is very budget friendly. And and actually always has been. I don't think you need to spend a ton of money on skincare to get the results that I was looking for. I'll just speak for myself, right? Maybe maybe it's in your budget to buy skin skin suticals. It's not in mine. But Tatcha skincare I love. I love almost everything I've tried. It is a special treat for me. Sometimes I'll add it to my stocking wish list for my husband for Christmas time. Sometimes if I get a gift card, I'll treat myself. They are treat skincare products. Like they are spa-like skincare products. And right now, for the holidays, Tatcha has a special edition luxury Kiri set. K-I-R-I, Kiri, I'm not sure. But it is $468. Again, this is, these are all gonna be in Canadian prices. <laughs> That's so expensive. But if I'm talking fantasy, right? If I'm talking an unlimited, not on a low buy, buy whatever I want, I would pick that set up. It comes with the Camellia Cleansing Oil. I would love that product. The Rice Polish in the classic version. I have tried it, I love it. The Essence, I have had, it's very nice. The Dewy Serum the Dewy Skin Cream, the Silk Peony Eye Cream, and the Kisu Lip Mask. So it actually comes with seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven full-size products. You know, as it should for that price, right? I would love that. And I know my skin loves a lot of those products. Yeah, I honestly, I would be thrilled to have that, but even at 20% off, like if I could get all that for $100, I would order it right away. At $468? No, that's so expensive, but I would love it. I would absolutely love it. Okay, so I think, oh, and then one other thing for skincare that I have always wanted to try is from Pharmacy, and it's the Honey Potion Plus Ceramide Hydration Mask. 
Now it's $53 for the 1.7 ounce size, the 50 gram size. I think they do have a bigger size that's more expensive. And that's the thing, some of these products I'm gonna talk about now are not terribly expensive, like $53, you get 20% off. So now it's like around $40. It's not bad. And I have wanted to try that product since it launched. I love pharmacy skincare almost as much as the Tatcha stuff. For me, the Tatcha stuff is just that elevated luxury element to it. And I feel like I'm, I, I, it has that luxurious feel to me. I love the scent. I love the sensory experience. I love the packaging. It just, it has that luxe feel to me. Pharmacy has more of just that everyday love to use it feel. And I do use their Honey Grail oil and I love it. It's, I, I got mine in the boxy sales and I think I got them for about $9 and I think I bought 10 because I love that oil and it was such a good deal. I wish they would have had this, I would have grabbed it as well. At $53, that's way out of my skincare budget. I'm not gonna spend that on this, but as a special treat during the sale, I would definitely pick it up. Now I think those were the only skincare things that I was really interested in. Okay, so let's, oh, one more thing that is not makeup. Before we get to makeup, I have always wanted to try the Forever Mood candles for a bunch of reasons. One, I think they look beautiful. When I'm in store, I've smelt a few of them and they smell beautiful. So I've always wanted to try them. Plus also, I love Jackie Ina. I have been watching her videos for ever. Like for as long as I've been watching YouTube videos, I've been watching Jackie Ina and I love her and I think she's fantastic and I would really like to try these candles because they seem like they would be wonderful and you know support her brand again because I love her but Forever Mood came out with holiday candle advent calendar it is $98 and you get 12 little mini candles and I feel like it would be such a nice way to well for one I love advent calendars and to try the brand and to try all the scents so it comes with um, state of Pine. That sounds fantastic. Mallow Dramatic, Holly Berry, Burr, Cuffing Season, Caked Up, Left on Red, Matcha Business, Burning Bridges, Champagne Wasted, Cloud Dream, and Butterfly Effect. Like the names of those just sound fantastic to me. Okay, sorry if things look completely different. I had to take a break. My husband called. He's traveling for work and he needed an update on our grandbaby. So, um, yeah. So I had to update him on that. So if things look completely different, that's why. I had to take a little break and uh, give my husband the update on the grandbaby and what's happening there. So, you know, also what I was thinking is I should have moved. I should have moved to the side to put up pictures. So... I don't think I want to refilm the whole thing. Okay, let's just, let's carry on. It's fine, it's fine. I'll put I'll put pictures somewhere. I'll fit them in. Okay, so that's, I think I ended off on the Forever Mood candles. Now let's get into the makeup. So we've kind of touched on everything else. So there are a couple of foundations that I would really like to try. There's the one from Hourglass, the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I've seen a couple reviews on that and it looks absolutely gorgeous. And then House Labs, I would like to try that foundation. It looks like it would be kind of this serum-y, I know it says medium coverage, but it looks quite lightweight. I did see Hannah Louise Poston, I think that's how you say her last name. She did a review on it and I'm intrigued to try it. And then Westman Atelier. Now, I there's actually a ton of stuff I would like to try from Westman Atelier. I don't often get excited for luxury products. Like I like Sephora high-end stuff, I do. But luxury stuff like Dior, I like the, that level of luxury brands, stuff you would get at Nordstrom, Tom Ford, I don't know. I, those did just as it, it's a price point that I'm not willing to Kind of dip my toe into. But Westman Atelier really intrigues me. And so there is the Vital Skincare Dewy Foundation Drops. That just sounds right up my alley. 
For a long time, I've wanted to try one of the iPod eyeshadow singles, specifically in the shade Tabak. I know I've talked about that product before. It's been in my loves list for years. $42, like it's not outrageous. That foundation, if you're curious, is 88, so that is quite up there. But that um, iPod eyeshadow single, I've heard Michelle Wong here on YouTube talk about it. She talks about tons of luxury stuff. She really like the Chanel, all of those brands. She really does a lot of that stuff and skincare as well. And I love to see her use it. But again, like for me, I very rarely want to spend even even like Hourglass and Charlotte Tilbury. Those are kind of my top end brands. Like I don't, you know, Tom Ford, Dior, Chanel, those are you know, those kind of frighten me a little bit at that price point, so I don't typically go in there. But Westman Atelier really appeals to me. There's a holiday gift set, the Petal Edition Lip and Complexion Holiday Gift Set. It's $178, but it comes with a stick blush, a stick highlighter, and a lip product. They also have a bronzing stick. There's a complexion stick. There's tons of stuff from Westman Atelier, and I'm very curious to try it. And I do know they have a mini of a few of their products. You know, maybe I would try one of those. But again, I'm on this low buy. I certainly don't need it. It intrigues me. If I wasn't on the low buy, we're talking fantasy, I would probably pick up at least a few things from Westman Atelier. Um, another thing on here is the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. I wanted to try that. I think, I wanna say last year they came out with like a limited edition and I wanted to try it. And now I wanna say this comes, does it come in three shades? Oh no, it comes in five on Sephora, $50. Yeah, I, I don't need any cream bronzing products. For sure, I do not. But I do, I like NARS as a brand. I, I like quite a few of their products and I feel like I would really enjoy that. Um, another product by House Labs that I've talked about before that if I wasn't on a low buy, I would pick up is the Atomic Shake Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, specifically the shade Ruby Shine. I've seen tons of people demo it and it looks amazing. It looks amazing. I don't need it. I don't wear bright red shades. I don't wear liquid lips. I barely kind of leave the house. I don't need my lipstick to last for 12 hours. I just don't, but I still, I want it. Um, of course, I would pick up from Urban Decay the 24 seven moon dust eyeshadow in Space Cowboy. It's funny. I had mentioned that in a wish list video a couple months ago and, and quite a few of you commented that you had purchased it and either returned it or it just sat, you don't use it, it's chunky. But I was recently in Sephora with a girlfriend. Now Space Cowboy they didn't have. They didn't have the sample there. What one did they have? I wonder. They had Cosmic. Cosmic very much reminds me of the Makeup by Mario. Oh, what are they called? It's the highlighter. I want to say it's like the Master Crystal Reflector. That could be wrong though. Um, I'll pop a little picture up because I can't remember what it's called, but it's the Makeup by Mario highlighter that I love that I use as an eyeshadow topper. I don't have it on today, but I love that product. Now it is chunky, it is glittery, but I love that. Oh, um, another product by Westman Atelier that is $114 that I would really like to try. I want to say these came out last year, or maybe that's just when I noticed them, but it's the Lip Suede Lipstick Palette. I think there's two versions of it. The one I like is the Nudes, Le Nude. What's this other one called? Le Rouge. <laughs> I like both of these actually. <laughs> It says it's a clean, customizable lip palette in four flattering matte suede shades made with 100% natural pigments. But of course, $114 for some lip products, like, oh, yikes, that's not in my budget. What else did I wanna to touch on? Oh, another product that's a little bit high-end is one of the Dior Lip Glow Oils in Rosewood is the shade I would like. I've seen Ilinka here on YouTube talk about how much she loves them. I've seen... Teresa is dead. I think she has every shade. I would really like to try one of those. Also, Alinka recently tried the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Cream Eyeshadow in Chocolate Bronze. She did a video on it and I would really like to try that. I went in store and swatched it. I would love it. Also by Charlotte Tilbury is the Hypnotizing Pop Shot Eyeshadow. 
And the shade I want in this is Smoky Quartz and it is unavailable. If it was available, I actually probably would pick this up. It's $41 for like a single, they're so little. But if it's in stock, when the sale is happening in a couple weeks, I probably will pick it up. Again, I saw Amanda Z here on YouTube. She, she, I think she bought three of them. She bought that one and she bought the Cosmic Rocks. Did she just buy those two? I thought she bought three. I can't remember which other one she bought. Smoky Quartz specifically, she demoed. She loved it. She likes the Eyes to Mesmerize and Oyster Pearl. She kind of compared them. I feel like we have similar tastes and eye looks that we like. And so she kind of went, you know, she said it was a fantastic product and I have no doubt. There's two blush sets that I want. So Merit came out with a mini flush bomb cream blush trio set for $50 so cute and then LYS Beauty came out with the deluxe higher standard satin matte cream blush trio for 26 that is such a good value I saw Elinka again here on YouTube do a whole video on that for $26 they're a good size the full size I have a full size of the LYS cream blush it's more blush than you would ever use in a lifetime even this little trio, it's a way to try three shades. I want to say they're all new shades. I don't think this is in the regular lineup. It's a great value, but also the Merit cream blushes I love. So either of those formulas I love. Now the Merit set trio is twice as expensive, but either one of those I would be really, really happy to have and try. You know, I do, I do love a holiday set. There's probably tons of Sephora sets I would like to, but I didn't go through them all. What else do I have in here? Okay, so for eyeshadow palettes. Now I never buy eyeshadow palettes because I have a ton of them that I've received in BoxyCharm boxes. And mostly I use, I shouldn't say never, actually last year I did pick up a Charlotte Tilbury Holiday Quad that I love. But other than that, I almost never purchase eyeshadow palettes. But Huda Beauty has, she's, she's done a few of these over the years and the one last year I thought looked beautiful and intrigued me, but this year she's come out with the Empowered Eyeshadow Palette, $88. I would love to have that. I would love to try that. I think it looks beautiful. I can't remember what the one last year was called. The one last year had almost like this, it looked like a little jelly pot with little balls of pigment in it. This one has a bunch of textured stuff in it too that looks really nice. If I was ever going to pick up an eyeshadow palette, that one I think would be my top pick and my next pick would be that new one from Natasha Denona that came out a couple weeks ago. Also that one looks gorgeous. Did I get through everything? Let's see. I think I did you guys. I think that is everything that if I had no budget. If I wasn't on a low buy and I could just lose my mind and go crazy in Sephora, <laughs> those are the things I probably would pick up. Again, that cart totals $5,000. Now, half of that is that Shani Darden LED thing. So really that cart's about $2,500. And then if I was to grab that De Dr. Dennis Gross one, it would be about $3,000. You'd get $600 off that. <laughs> Can you imagine? Wow. Even if I was working, I want to say last year in the fall holiday savings event, I think I spent about $500. So I wasn't on a low buy and I was working and I think I spent about $500, I want to say. Did I? It must have been about that. That's that's the number in my head anyway. Um, and that, that would be very easy for me to do. It would actually, if I was actually going to purchase, it would be hard for me to keep it under $500. But I do think last year I set myself a limit. I think I probably did go over a little, but yeah. So there you go. There's my fantasy cart. Now it's tricky to do, right? Because if we're talking fantasy cart and I'm just like not, raining nothing in, there, that list would be twice that. Those are the products that I think I would really get some use out of and I would really enjoy using. But but here's the truth, whenever I've done a large order like this off of Sephora, what inevitably happens is I forget about things or like I unbox everything, I'm super excited, I try it a few times 
And then stuff gets put in a drawer and I forget about it because I didn't order one or two things. I ordered 10 things. So I, I do know that has happened in previous years. And then I'm, you know, like right now I'm doing this shop my stash. I'm going through and I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, I, I have this product that I was so excited and had to have and I've used it less than five times. You know what I mean? So this low buy has been good for me. I know I talk about it in, in lots of videos, but I am enjoying the low buy. I am toying with the idea of a no buy, but I just don't, I don't think I can do it. I just, I have no faith in myself. I would, I would attempt it if I had faith in myself to do it. I know Hannah Louise Poston, again, I hope that's how you say her last name. I know she did a whole year of a no buy. I should watch some of those older videos of hers. I know she really tries to be mindful with her purchases and I think that's just good for me to exercise that mindfulness in my purchasing. Um, it's been hard. This low buy has been hard. Like I love to buy Sephora stuff. I, you know, I really love to shop. I, I wouldn't have really maybe said that about myself, but across the board, I'm trying to purchase less. One, I'm not working and two, I'm trying to be mindful and three, we're saving for this house that we're building. So. I'm just trying to purchase less, less clothes, less cosmetics. Also, I'm in this temporary transition space that is a thousand square feet. So there is nowhere to put stuff, even if I wanted to shop. Like I had to, I had to downsize and declutter so much to fit in here that it was shocking. It was shocking how much we had accumulated in the house we had. We, you know, we had almost 4,000 square feet. There was just endless space to put stuff. Not the case here, not the case here. So yeah, so there you go. Thank you so much to the lovely person who suggested this video. I really appreciate anytime you guys send me video ideas, but this was a great one. Like I, that comment happened last night and I immediately filmed this video today because I thought, oh, how fun. Let's talk about if I just had no holds bar, if I could just go crazy in a Sephora. <laughs> there you go. There's my list of things I would grab. I'm sure tomorrow there will be things I even add, you know, a week from now there'll be, you know, the stuff is always changing and evolving. But when I sat last night, these were the things that I was like, yeah, let's add it. Let's add it. Let's add it. And before I knew it, I was at $5,000. So yeah, there you go, you guys. What things in here would you grab? What's on your fantasy list? I would love to hear from you as always in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.